it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and I am back with another How to Kill a Kit with Style layout with my August kit. Now this is my second paper crafting kit, pre-made kit, um, that I'm going to be busting into and this is One Big Happy Family by Paper House Productions and I just love the colors in this. So let's open this up so that we can kind of see what all comes in this kit. So that is just the cover page. Okay, so the first paper, I don't know if they have names. I don't believe they have names. So this is a cut apart and a beautiful floral and it looks like you get two of everyone so this is mom based here is the dad cut apart with a very very awesome 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 wood grain on the back so I'm very glad you get two of each then this would be grandparents with a beautiful floral and then this is a cut apart sheet all about family. And oh, that's super cool. Love, love, love that piece. And then this is a frame sheet and it does say one big happy family. So I guess if I have a family photo, that would be a good one for that. And a great orange on the back. And then this one is super cute. This one has these little circles and I think that's probably about a one inch punch. So it would be fun to actually take this page and punch all of these circles out. And a beautiful feather, minty feather on the back. And we're doing that. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, so you get 12 papers, and then you get a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So that's what comes in this kit. So I will definitely be pulling in my, my jars for this kit. I will probably be using my green, blue, and probably my orange which I don't have a ton of, but, um, so I'll be pulling those in and probably my neutral pack. So let's get started. Okay. So I think this is my favorite piece of paper in the whole line and paper house productions. I really haven't had much of their product, but their paper is awesome. It is super thick. It, it's just really nice quality. So I'm super excited to play with it. So of course I'm doing a layout about my husband. And so of course I'm going to grab the dad paper <laughs> and I am looking at the cut apart sheet to see if there is anything that I want to add. So the two pieces that stick out to me currently are these two little three by four cards at the bottom and it says a dad is someone you look up to no matter how tall you've grown. So the funny thing is the picture actually doesn't have any of, you know, my kids or anything in it. It's actually a picture of my husband holding this backpack. Now the story behind this backpack is pretty awesome. When he was 16, his older brother, who's seven years older than him, had just got out of the military and he decided that the two of them were going to backpack Europe for 30 days. So Christopher saved up and him and his brother went and backpacked Europe for 30 days. So this is the backpack that he used. Now, that was a really long time ago. 
that was at least 20 years ago. And we were getting ready to head down to have a soup eye for our backpacking trip. And my best friend had just done it. She had come over and she was letting us use a bunch of her stuff because she had just done it and she kind of knew what we needed. Well, she asked my husband, do you need to borrow my husband's backpack? And he's like, no, I have my own. And she's like, well, that was a really long time ago. So he had to go find this backpack and show her that it was still an awesome backpack and in such good condition and it was going to be perfect for our hike. So he was super proud of this backpack. So he's standing there and he's posing. So of course I'm going to take a picture. And I think it's kind of important to document I kind of his love of this backpack. So, so that's kind of the story behind the backpack. So the title of it is going to be Backpack Story. So at this point, I kind of didn't know what I was going to do other than I knew that I wanted it to kind of be a horizontal layout at the base of this beautiful paper. And that was pretty much it. <laughs> that was as far as I got. So I'm like, okay, well, I've got my layers. I love to layer paper. There's a ton of beautiful paper in this collection. I'm going to pop up the picture and I'm going to have the kind of the the statement piece and then a place to do some journaling. So my next idea was okay I'm going to go to the sticker sheet. First time I've used this particular kit so I have everything in it. It only comes with the paper and the sticker sheet but there's lots of beautiful things on this sticker sheet. So, including an alpha. And the alpha is kind of like a, like a cork alpha. I really liked it. So, that's where the title came up as Backpack Story. Sorry, little yawn there. And I figured we were outside on our deck, so the birdhouse was appropriate and then I saw this cute little typewriter and I was like well I don't have a ton to say so maybe I can fit all of my journaling on there so that's kind of my plan and then I found this cute little sticker and I didn't like that it had an orange circle around it so I cut that off, and so now it's a terrible circle, but it's okay. I do find a way to fix it. And so I'm just going through the sticker sheet. I'm just pulling fun things. I pull a bird. I pull a key. I pull a fence, some flowers, a heart, a butterfly. Like, it's just a bunch of beautiful items on there, and I'm like, I'm just going to pull them off and see if... See if they go. So, I do start with a cluster up there in the top. I figured it was getting to be a little blank up there. And I thought about this border strip, but it doesn't go completely from one side of the page to the other side of the page. So, I have a little bit of an issue with that. If there was, if I was putting it behind a picture and I could cut it in half, so that it looked like it went all the way from one side to the other. I would have liked it better. But because you could see the entire strip. I knew that it wasn't going to be pleasing to my eye. So. Here I am. I'm definitely liking what I have. But I feel like it needs more. So I went to the blue and green bin that I have sitting on my desk and I just pulled a bunch of things color wise and decided to kind of play around with them. 
So the first thing I pulled was that little mountain scene, and that was a clear sticker from Amy Tan that I backed on white cardstock and fussy cut. And then I found this like crocheted, I don't know if it's, it's got to be a flower. So this crocheted flower, and so that's where I end up sticking that circle as the middle of the flower. And then I grab a couple tabs, or a couple tags and one tab, and I have that rubber frame piece down there in the bottom, which I have been trying to get those rubber pieces on my layouts forever, and I just can't seem to do it. So it will eventually come off. I even have this like half of a piece of paper and so I'm going to add that behind. I have a little banner that says hit the road and I put a little frame underneath that flower and that love is from Coca Vanilla uh, Endless Summer. I got that in one of my secret not secret kits. And let's see, that bird is a Paige Evans piece. I want to say it's from, it's not the latest one. Oh, I forget. I actually ended up getting it in my Pay It Forward box. So it is already on a layout. And then that Happy Moments, I also got in my secret not secret kit and it is from the BU collection from I know you guys are just yelling at it right to me right now it's from this one I always say it wrong it's not it's not pretty little series from pink fresh studio the BU collection and so that's gonna make it on I got a couple of banners to go on top of my photo and I had this little like strip and it said what so I just added a small to the bottom it was cute and went really well with the navy adding some pom-pom trim underneath my typewriter I'm gonna add some navy and white twine into my tags and that is going to do it. So I hope that you are getting all kinds of inspiration from everybody who is doing this series. There is so many wonderful YouTubers that are using up so much of their stash. And I am super excited to be playing with all of these fun products, like getting it off the shelf and getting them into albums is, it just makes you feel so good. It's so rewarding. So I encourage you to go into your stash and take that pretty stuff off the shelf and start playing with it because that's why we bought it in the first place. So here are some close-ups and I hope you are having a great day and I will be back soon with another layout using this kit. So remember to wear your crown. Bye!